Okay, I'm going to do a little review for you now of a Game Boy game. Now, you might be thinking, why do I want to watch a review on a Game Boy game? Well, if that's not for you, then feel free to turn this video off. Personally, I thought, do you know what? I've got a bit of time to do a video, so I'll make another one of my so-called throwaway videos where I just make a video just because I've got the time and I might not upload it now, I might not upload it this month. But if I feel like I've not uploaded a video for a while and I don't have time to actually make one, I could just upload this one, can't I? So, this was the very first wrestling game that I ever owned, I believe. I remember my mum bought it for me when it had... Around right about the time that it just came out, I think. I, I can't really remember precisely because it was a very long time ago. But I remember it was brand new, like pretty much brand new at the time. It was the newest wrestling game out. And my mum brought it home and I remember I was so excited to play it. And I put it in the Game Boy and... Put it on. I was amazed. Wow, you can pick from eight different wrestlers. I was just reading on it on Wikipedia now, just to get my my memory jogging, just to remember what was on it. And it said there that you could um, have tag team matches, singles matches, and then some other kind of match. But I only remember the singles matches that were on there. There may have been a tournament mode on there, but I don't really remember that. Oh, you could also play against a friend, I believe, uh, if you had the link cables up. To, but none of my friends had this game, and you know, I was like five years older. What I was going to do? I was going to play with. But, um, yeah, so I remember having this game and so excited to play it. I remember guys on it like Yokozuna, Bret Hart, Hulk Hogan. It said on YouTube that Undertaker was on it, but, uh, sorry, on uh, Wikipedia that Undertaker was on it. I don't mem remember that. Um, yeah, I just remember those three guys being on it. Maybe Macho Man? Um, no, I don't think Macho Man was on it. Maybe Kurt Henning, Mr. Perfect. But, yeah, I remember it being, like really difficult as well. I couldn't get my head around it how to actually beat the guys on the game and I was so bad at computer games when I was kid. I'm pretty bad at them now to be honest but um, I remember pretty much the only guy who I could beat was Yoko Zuna because I'd start beating on him, I'd run outside and then I'd hit him a few times outside then I'd run all the way around the ring and it would take him forever to get around there and I'd beat him by this by a count out and that was the only way I could win so like it would, looking back like, I was so easily pleased that I could, uh, I just got this game and I was so excited to play it, but I actually couldn't beat anybody on it. And I remember getting pissed off quite a lot of the time and just turning it off. In hindsight, my mum probably shouldn't have bothered, bothered buying me that, because uh, fuck knows how much it cost to buy it when it just came out. But I didn't really ever play it. I probably played it a few times, but I just, I liked the idea of having it more than I actually liked to play it because I couldn't beat any, uh, like, any of the other characters apart from Yokozuna, and I could only do that by cheating really. But um. Yeah, have any of you lot played this game? Have any of you did any of you play it at the time? Because I'm really interested um, to know people's opinion on this game, especially I've done a few reviews about games um, on my channels before. I'm planning on doing quite a few now as well. Uh, now I've got time, I'm going to record quite a few different videos today. But um, yeah, so what do you think of uh, the game? If you have played it, if you've not played it, um, check out the videos of it on YouTube. Just have a look at the graphics and see how far it's come from the days of that game on the Game Boy, the very first one I played, to the latest one that I played, which is SmackDown vs. Raw 2010. You know, it's such it's just a ridiculous amount of change. It's gone from basically like a just basic drawing on a screen to like a lifelike video on on my television, do you know what I mean? It looks so much different and it looks so much better. But uh, yeah, what do you lot think of the game? If you've played it, um, let me know down here. And um, yeah, I suppose that's all, that's all I've got to say about it really. A bit of a short one really, but yeah. Thanks for watching and uh, comment down here if you've got anything to say.